Hello everyone! We're going to be creating the life cycle of a butterfly using model magic clay and we're going to be calling it our bug jar. Have you ever gone out over the summer and taken a jar and collected insects that you find in your yard? Grasshoppers, beetles, butterflies? Well you're all going to get a cup like this and this is going to be our bug jar and you're going to get a, a sheet that outlines the life cycle of the butterfly starting with an egg, caterpillar, chrysalis, and then the butterfly. I'm going to set this outside of the camera so you can see what we're going to be doing with the model magic clay. So you have the primary colors, red, yellow, and blue, and you will have to mix colors to get the secondary colors. So I'm going to start and I want you to start with your butterfly since the butterfly is going to take up most of your clay. So I'm just going to make the color orange. Now I just gave you a big clue. I need red. What other color do I need to make orange? Yes, yellow. So I'm going to take some yellow and I'm just going to take a little bit of red and then I'm going to smash them together press and push and pull and just mix those two colors together. It takes a few minutes and it takes time because this requires hand strength. So your hands might get a little tired doing this. You can always take a break. Alright, so here's my orange. Now I'm going to roll it into a ball and now I have to divide this into two pieces and they're pretty equal. Now how many wings does a butterfly have? Yes, four wings and these are going to be my two top wings. And Model Magic Clay is sticky so I don't want to press it down onto the table. I'm going to press it into my fingers like that and then I'm going to just shape it with my fingers. And I'll shape this one a little bit and then I'll to connect them, all you have to do is touch them, and now they're going to stick together. All right, I'm going to set those down because now I'm going to make my bottom wings. Now, maybe I'm just going to use yellow to be my bottom wings. So, I'm going to mix this up, roll it into a ball, and separate it. I've got my two smaller wings. So, now I'm going to take it, press it, shape it, press it and shape it. Now this one's a little small but that's okay. Touch these two together and then when I'm ready I just touch the bottom wings to the top wings just like that. Alright, I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to make the body of my lady or my ladybug, my butterfly. So I'm going to have a green body. So I'm going to take some blue and some yellow and notice I'm not using all of my primary colors and I'm going to mix it together. Now um, sometimes when we do this project kids want to make antennas because they know butterflies have antennas but antennas don't really work out so well with model magic clay so I would just skip that part. Alright, this is a nice bright green because I used a lot of yellow. I'm going to roll it and I want this to be the body so I'm going to set it on the table and just roll it and then that looks to be a nice size and I'm just going to gently press that in. Alright, so now I'm not going to demonstrate this part in the video but now I would decorate my wings using my clay. I can mix clay, I can use just the primaries, however you want to decorate. I will give you one idea though and I like taking a little bit of clay and making these super skinny little worms but a really skinny line. Now what I do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to just go right around here and set that in place, okay? Now I'm going to, um, when my butterfly is all done being decorated, I can take this and put it into my bug jar and maybe just press that into the side like that. Alright, let's move on to the caterpillar. So I'm going to make a blue caterpillar and I want my caterpillar to have a stripe. So here's this and I'm just going to keep it simple. I'm going to make a yellow stripe. So I have a little bit of yellow 
And remember, you can use whatever colors you would like, okay? So we're going to take it here, and then I'm just going to wind it right around. And then I just give it a little roll to let that stay in place. Now there is one thing I'm missing for my lesson video and that's a stick. Hopefully we'll be able to go outside and get a stick, but let's pretend my pencil is my stick. I could take my caterpillar and press it onto my stick like that and then let it rest across the top of my bug jar. So there's my caterpillar. I'll leave it here. And now I have to make some eggs. And eggs are really easy. I don't even need to show you that. But I do want to show you um, how to make purple because some of you might want to use purple in your project. And I'm just taking red and blue and mixing that up. Maybe I'm going to have purple eggs. Maybe that's what it be, would be. Now I could make a green leaf to attach to my stick if I'd like and put the eggs on that, however you want to do it. So here's my purple and then I could just make little itty bitty eggs and put that in my bug jar on my leaf. Oh, the one last thing is the chrysalis. Whoops. All right. I'm just going to use red for my chrysalis. You can mix up to be a color. Okay. And you just make it into whatever shape. And again, I like to attach this to my stick and I just put it on there like that and it hangs into my bug jar. All right, so that was kind of a long video, but I'm going to give you your clay, and I hope you have fun making the life cycle of your butterfly.